Hello, this is Rosalind Bearcat, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. I release a new video each week for this game. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified when it is released. Today we're going to walk through our plant for building cooling systems. Now cooling systems are, uh, require nitrogen gas. Doesn't matter which one of these blueprints you use, either heat sinks or the other items, you have to have nitrogen gas. So in one of the in the prior videos, we actually walked through the heat sink. Uh, what was in an, a couple of videos ago, well, a couple of weeks ago, we walked through the, how I was building heat sinks. So now we're gonna walk through how we build cooling systems. Now to start with, heat sinks are going to require the uh, since they're going to be required nitrogen gas, we have nitrogen gas over here where we're doing fused modular frames. So we're going to look at that. You can see here on the belt we have cooling systems coming down through here along with our fused modular frames. So we have added in some new things over here in this particular location. And you can see here we've got a water plant, we have a Manufacture a blender. The blender is producing the cooling systems. It brings in heat sinks, rubber, water, and nitrogen gas. So there's where it gets the water. Obviously, the nitrogen gas is coming in via the train. We've already seen that. That was coming over here for the other. We actually added a new drone port. This new drone port here, as you saw the drone just take off, is bringing in heat sinks. And heat sinks are being used to run the, come out of here and run into this blender to produce these cooling systems. Now, the, the cooling systems that's producing these at six per minute, so it's not a lot, but it is producing a steady supply of them coming out. We are running those cooling systems over along to, with our fused heat sinks and putting them on the train, you know, running it all the way over to the train over there so that we can send it back to our storage facility. Now we needed to get rubber over here and you can see that we have rubber over here and we have built our first uh, truck station to bring rubber over here from the rubber plant. So I have a truck that is bringing rubber in. So I had rubber and fuel that was at this other facility. So if we come over here and we'll look at it, you can kind of still see the markers for the truck route. And here we can see that we've got a little truck station here. And the truck station is being fed rubber. It's coming into the truck station. And we can also see that we hijacked some of the fuel that we were producing and brought the fuel over here also. The fuel is the source of fuel for the truck. That way it has a source of power for going back and forth. And we can see that the rubber is coming in. It's slow. It's coming in on Mark 1 belt. It's not a lot, but it's enough to keep the rubber, the factory going for the cooling systems. Now the cooling systems is one of the items that I'll need to build the nuclear power plant and this was one of the last items that I needed before I start my build for the nuclear power. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available and check out the link shown here for more gameplay. Take care.